Hello, and welcome to day three of learning Leaco from ChatGPT. So let's get started. So, if I go into the ChatGPT window for Leacode, okay, let's ask for day three. Sorry, no, not day three. Um, what else are we on? Uh, so we need, no need, that's number six. Okay, prefix sums. Explore uh, the prefix sum technique to solve range queries and subarray problems efficiently. Uh, find the subarray with the largest sum, two, three problems. Okay, please give me less than six. Okay, let's see what this is about. So, prefix sums. Concept. Uh, the prefix sum technique is a powerful tool for solving problems that involve subarrays and range uh, queries efficiently. Uh, it helps. Let's see. If it stops bringing the page down. It helps reduce uh, the time complexity of finding the sum of elements uh, between two indices by pre computing cumulative sums. Once the prefix sums are computed, you can answer range sum queries in the time. So, the key idea a prefix sum array is an array where each element at index i is the sum of all elements from the start of the original array up to i. This allows us to calculate the sum of any subarray in constant time using the formula. Subarray sum from index i to j equals prefix um, sum of j minus prefix uh, sum of i minus 1. Okay, so then example problem walkthrough maximum subarray. In this problem, we want to find the subarray with the largest sum, uh, the prefix sum technique. Uh, helps efficiently compute sums for all possible arrays. So what we're going to do here, uh, max sum equals nums at zero, current sum equals zero. For num in nums, current sum plus equals num. If current sum is greater than max sum, max sum equals current sum. Uh, and then we're going to do, if current sum is less than zero, current sum equals zero. Return max sum. So I'll put six. So what we're doing here is we're going through each number in nums and the, we're adding the number to the current sum. If the current sum, uh, so say we had a zero here, is minus two. If it's greater than max sum, uh, we're going to do max sum equals current sum. And if current sum is less than zero, uh, it's current sum equals zero. So yeah, uh, just, you just uh, quite a simple way of doing it, um, it saves doing recursion. Yeah. So, in this example, the prefix sum helps find uh, track the cumulative sum, allowing us to reset the sum whenever it drops below zero and find the largest possible subarray sum. Okay. So that would be four minus one, uh, two and one. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to do what solution to. Uh, similar problems, so prefix sum, bind range, len nums, i prefix equals sum of i equals self dot prefix nums at i uh, plus nums at i. So we're just uh, adding it range sum, and this is the formula that was given to us before. Okay, I'm going to do the maximum subarray. Uh, if I go new tab below. Maximum sub array into code. If I get to this, so this is similar, if not the same, to the one it showed us. I don't know. So the current our current sum equals zero and our highest equals nums at zero because we've got to set it to some value and it could be negative so yeah we just set it to the first one. So for i in nums um if i is greater than uh, highest 
Who knows? So if we do i is less than zero, current so zero if i is greater than uh, highest highest uh, so i then we do LF current sum plus equals i. Okay, so what did it do for the um current sum plus equals num? Oh, I see. That's how it works because it that's before that's sum. So we need to do this at the start. And we're not setting it, we should be setting it to current sum. Current sum. No, and I'm pretty sure the current sum, yeah. Current sum. So high schools. So we go through each of the numbers and we're adding i. So then if the current sum is less than zero, we're just going to set it as zero because um, largest sum and return its sum. Because if we have none, the largest sum array none, uh, yeah, that's where we'll get uh, zero. So then if current sum is greater than the highest, um, then we'll just change the highest to be the current sum and then. We just need to return the highest at the end. Well, what? Okay, and you see it's accepted. Oh, okay. Um, minus one, up at zero. Hmm? Current sum equals zero. Okay, just a silly error on my part. Hmm? Expected four. If it's less than zero, we just put zero. What did you have to do differently? Max term at numbers at zero. And then, so highest, so then if current sum is less than zero, hmm, I mean, we could just do, because it doesn't work for that, uh, when it's worn, so if, um, then nums return. Okay, let's see if this works. Hmm. So it looks like it's only working when there's at least one positive number there. I mean, we could do... By itself. So for I in nums if i 
is less than zero. All negatives is false. Person zero. Four negatives return min norms. Min. Okay. Oh, Max, my bad. Oh, I see. Okay. So 25 milliseconds beats 99.77%. So, yeah, uh, that's this uh, leak code solution solved. I'm just going to uh, add this to my GitHub. So, 53. Give.com. Yahab.com slash Robert Shepherd TPP slash delete code. Code. Sorry, add file. Create new file. 53.py. And we'll commit the changes. So yeah, that's all for today's video, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, goodbye. Be, be sure to stay tuned for more Leaco content.